Good morning, Margie Mayer. Good morning. How are you? Good. Very good. Thank you for having us in your beautiful neighborhood, Troy Hill. I know. It's it's a nice neighborhood. It is gorgeous. Tell me some of the great things about Troy Hill. What do you like? Well, what I like about it is the... It, it, first of all, it's close to downtown Pittsburgh. So you from Troy Hill, you can get anywhere in the city very quickly, which is a real selling point to me when we first moved here. Oh. And because I had never been in Troy Hill before that. And... Um, Tell me about you first moving to Troy Hill. Well, we, our children went to, we were living in Squirrel Hill. They, they all, uh, um, they all um, graduated from Alderdice, and my husband was tired of fighting for parking spaces, <laughs> so he decided to flee Tro uh, Squirrel Hill, and we ended up in Troy Hill. Wonderful. He wanted out of the city, and this is the furthest out of the city I would come, but it's not really out of the city. <laughs> no. It looks beautiful here. What did your children call this neighborhood? Uh, when we first moved here, they called it Mayberry because <laughs> it was so different from um, Squirrel Hill. But it it has, in in the time I've lived here, I lived in uh, Squirrel Hill for a long time, and I've been up here for 20 years. And within like just a few years, I knew everyone. You walk down the streets, people oh, say hi to you. Sense of I, community. Yeah, yeah, it's a very different atmosphere than um, you get in in Squirrel Hill, where there's a lot of people, everyone's busy, right? And, and you don't get to know it. your neighbors like right. you do up here. But up here, you you know everyone for good or bad. You know you them do. all. You know them all, <laughs> right. which makes a neighborhood. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, I'm looking at your architecture and all the green here. It's just beautiful. How old is Troy Hill? Well, my house was, uh, a friend did research on our house. My house was built in 1863. It's wow. one of the older ones up here. It's like down at that end of Troy Hill. Beautiful. And, um, this area was already, from what I've seen on maps, was kind of settled at that point. Where down where I was at, it was just, it was the first house. I, I'm right down past the chapel up here. So so was this farmland at one time, or was it just a small little kind of village? I, I'm not really sure what uh, they actually started up here. I think they uh, a lot of the workers up here were people that worked in... Um, maybe the factories right oh, over the hill right. because I believe there were, well, Heinz has been there, but I think there were glass factories and all along, all, yeah. all along the river. There were all kinds of industrial things. And, yeah. you know, this was like the, um, uh, it, the working class up here. Right. And it, it still is. is it's, it? it's still a working class neighborhood. And Where do you that, see Troy Hill in 25 years? Where I would like to see Troy Hill in 25 years is, uh, people in the city don't realize that this is a great place to live. If you're a young person wanting to live in the city, mm. houses are reasonable up here. You have to fix them up, but uh, there's been beautiful work done by mm. some of these younger people coming in and buying houses. And you're close to the city. You're close to the strip. Right. You can walk to everything yeah. or bike. We have a lot of people up here that bike. and uh, So they feel safe. Yeah. Right. It's a safe community. Right. Uh, in fact, we have a uh, watch... Um, uh, what do you call it? Where neighborhood watch. Neighborhood watch. And I don't go to them all the time. But the the times I've been there, the police say, you know, we're always like, where's the police presence? And they're like, well, you're not having a whole lot of problems yeah, up here. That's why so. you have no presence. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Right. It's a good thing. Right. <laughs> right. So, um, Would you say to your children, come here to Troy Hill and raise your children? This is a safe, beautiful place. Um, you... Geez, now there is a question. Yeah, I think that if we got a lot, enough young people in here that were interested in the community, maybe they could help work on the schools. We, uh, the problem seems to be that people move up here with children and they're worried about the local schools. My children were out of school, so I don't know that much about right, it. Right, right. But it is a safe community. We have playgrounds around here right. and... Uh, you know, you always see kids out in the street, you know, riding their bikes and playing. If you had a person that came in from out of town and you'd say, ah, first place in Troy Hill I took, take this person is where? The first place in Troy Hill that I would take them. Um, pr 
probably uh, I'd meet them at Billy's for some drinks. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> we got an evening going here. I'm liking the way this is shaping up. And uh, then... You know, we do have like the the chapel over here, which is of historic interest, mm-hmm. uh, just to walk around the neighborhood. And and as far as little local bars go, there are some really quaint little local bars around here. Yeah, mom and pop yeah. kind of bars that give you that comfy feeling. Right. And you, like I said, you're close enough to walk down onto the island, oh. to walk around the island down there, uh, Washington Landing. Um, once they get the... Um, the bridge open in Rialto Street, Pig Hill, as we all call it up here. <laughs> Why do you call it Pig Hill? Uh, apparently, a long time ago, they drove pigs, and I can never understand if they drove them up the hill or down the hill <laughs> to the slaughterhouses. But <laughs> somebody wonderful. was raising pigs, and they were either <laughs> taking them up or down <laughs> way before my time. <laughs> oh, Marty, I've had a wonderful time talking to you. Thank you for inviting us to your beautiful neighborhood trail. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs>